Welcome to Advent 2020. I am Father Ron Will, joined by Kathy Keery, Lucia Ferrara, and Dennis Cody from Precious Blood Renewal Center in Liberty, Missouri. This Advent is probably like no other Advent in your life experience. We find ourselves in the middle of a world pandemic when we cannot gather in one place for a large prayer experience. So we are inviting you to pray with us virtually today. If you create a space and an atmosphere in your own home, this prayer can be just as powerful for you as if we were in one location. If it is a meaningful prayer experience for you today, you may wish to return to Precious Blood Renewal Center website and experience it again at a later time during Advent. This Advent, more than ever, is a time to find hope in uncertainty. We need a Savior, perhaps more than ever. God wishes to be that Savior for you today. We invite you to take a minute to settle your mind. Let go of distractions. Put aside your to-do list for today. Perhaps light a candle or place another symbol before you, which will help you focus on God. If you don't have such a symbol handy, what would be a good symbol that you wish you had nearby? See it in your mind's eye. Allow it to lead you to an awareness of God now. Advent is a time for reflection. That is what we are inviting you to do with us for the next few minutes. We will lead you through a time of meditation with words, song, and mostly your active imagination. Invite God now to lead your imagination. Henry Frederick Emil, a Swiss philosopher, poet, and critic of the 19th century, wisely stated, Uncertainty is the refuge of hope. In today's world, uncertainty fills lives of many. Illness, unemployment, marital difficulties, tragedies, and the death of a loved one are all a handful of the many circumstances that crop up in life that can make one uneasy about what lies ahead. The pandemic, the racial unrest, and the economic crisis are examples of sources of in uncertainty for us as a nation. Not only are many dealing with personal crises, but at the same time as a community, our country is living in what could arguably be considered unprecedented uncertainty. It's commonplace to hear people lament the negative consequences of this level of stress in their life and the lives of their loved ones. As we prepare to celebrate the Prince of Peace in our midst, let us reflect and uplift, let us reflect on and be uplifted by these words of Henry Frederick Emil. Uncertainty is the safe haven the sanctuary, the manger, where hope dwells. In the words of Emily Dickinson, hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings tunes without words and never stops at all. Our creator has implanted hope in each of our hearts. Sometimes it takes uncertainty to motivate us to rediscover, reclaim, and embrace once again this precious gift. Once it is found, the wise person holds on to this powerful source of comfort and peace as though it was a precious stone. Mm -hmm.
God of power and might, you alone are the source of our peace. We wait in hope for the coming of your kingdom. Keep us watchful and ready as we await the glorious coming of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. As we travel through uncertainty in these unusual times, let's take a peek at how the Holy Family dealt with this dilemma. Let's ponder for a moment the uncertainty that filled Mary and Joseph's life before Jesus was born. And then, of course, there's the usual worry and questions that accompany having your first child. The uncertainty continued as Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem on a donkey when Mary was nine months pregnant, not to mention going into labor in a foreign place without anyone welcoming them into their home. The uncertainty continues as Jesus is born in a barn Simeon tells Mary that her own heart will be pierced, and then the Holy Family is forced to flee Egypt as refugees. Today, we'll focus on the journey to Bethlehem. You are invited to connect Mary and Joseph's story with your own. Allow their uncertainty to speak to your uncertainty. We will also take a look at how times of uncertainty are often a mixed bag filled with good and the bad, the joy and the sorrow. In the words of Desmond Tutu, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness. How did Mary and Joseph hold this tension as they awaited the birth of the light of the world. Even though it's estimated that Mary and Joseph's journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem took four to seven days, the Gospel of Luke describes the travel in two sentences. Obviously, a lot of the story is left out. We invite you to go beyond what the scripture tells us and use your imagination to journey each step of the way with Mary and Joseph. We're not going for historical accuracy. We're asking the Holy Spirit to speak to us about our own lives as we relive Mary and Joseph's untimely journey. Remember they were in the early stages of the relationship and Mary is nine months pregnant. If you are comfortable closing your eyes, please do so. Open your heart so you can step into Mary and Joseph's shoes. Allow the spirit to guide your imagination. Picture the scene as Mary and Joseph begin their journey.
What supplies do they bring? Are they both walking? Is there a donkey or two? Does either of them ride on a donkey? What is the terrain like? What is the weather like? What is their conversation? Imagine what they are saying to one another. How are they breaking the monotony of the trip? What do they eat? What do meal times look like? Where do they sleep? How do they tend to one another? How do they express their affection for one another? Do they pray? What does that look like? In quiet moments, what is stirring in Mary's heart? In quiet moments, what is stirring in Joseph's heart? Are they excited about anything? What are Mary's hopes? What are Joseph's hopes? What are Mary's concerns? What are Joseph's concerns? Is Mary uncertain about anything? Is Joseph uncertain about anything? What do they do with their uncertainty? How do they respond to it?
Now ponder your own situation. Perhaps times are a bit uncertain for you. Perhaps you're traveling through a rough patch or have in the past. Did the way you imagined that Mary and Joseph dealt with their difficult circumstances illuminate your path through uncertainty and difficulty? How did Mary and Joseph handle the roller coaster of pleasant and trying times amid uncertainty? Where do you imagine that Mary and Joseph placed their trust? What was their stabilizing force? Did you gain any insight into finding hope in uncertain circumstances while walking alongside of Mary and Joseph? How can you implement those insights into your situation? We invite you this Advent season to study the other infancy narratives, imagining how Mary and Joseph found in the words of Mother Angelica, joy in sorrow, fulfillment in exile, light in darkness, peace in turmoil, consolation in dryness, contentment in pain, and hope in desolation. May the bread of life walk with you on the journey. Thank you for joining us today. If this was a meaningful experience for you today, tell a friend about it. Revisit this prayer yourself on our Precious Blood Renewal website. May you continue to find hope in uncertainty.
Jesus Christ, hope of ages, come to save us now. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now. Give us life, lead us to one another. A child is born for us, a son is given to us. In our midst, Christ our Lord and God comes as one who serves. Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. With our own eyes we see, with our own ears we hear, salvation of all the world, God's incarnate word, bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now. Give us life, lead us.